Okay, live video is starting. <clears throat> there we are. Here we are. Whoa. By golly. Yes. And I hope I sound good on there. Well, where I'm set right, you know? There. Yeah, it'd be nice. Uh. <laughs> I think I'm good. Well, sp talk to me. All right, I'm speaking to you. Okay, I am lower than you. Okay. Let me bring this up just a little bit. It's it's not the best, but there it is. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Greetings. After five long weeks without seeing any of yes. y'all, that was hard. But the old gear that uh, we'd been using for four plus years finally gave up the ghost. Yes. And it was the heart of the operation. And um, we've just had all kinds of issues getting something put together that will... Uh, get us on the air i i don't i'm sure our our audio quality will improve in future shows we uh, have uh hillary hello hello hillary. hillary currently in scott currently in scotland. in scotland yes and ziggy is here hi george and lynn Greetings hello ziggy again from germany welcome you guys greetings loved your post on uh, cyber pluckers hillary that was a nice song um Good to see you, Ziggy. Uh, we are uh, working with the audio here to see. Okay, can we, you want to move it forward a little bit? My chair is in your way. So. No. Uh -oh. Laura Harden. Oh, Dan is here also. Hello, Dan. Dan. Hi, all. I'm here, but I'll be zipping in and out due to various commitments. And La Laura Harden is here watching this on my phone so I can take it with me to my gig this afternoon. Oh, Your concert ends right when the open mic begins. Well, best of luck on it. I'm moving over a little bit to the right. Yeah, I need to... Uh, I, am, I am way too I'm close thinking, to this mic. Was, it's just whoops. that the, the setup <laughs> is such... I didn't mean to move it that much. Setup is such that... Uh, okay. We really right. can't be at the angle that we need to be. All right. Well. Okay. And I'm still in the picture, I hope. Yes, I am. Okay. It is what it is here. Um. Do we have auto harp? Uh-oh. That wouldn't be good. No, it wouldn't. Well, I just got to hope. If you don't hear the harp, let us know. That we can do that. Okay. Uh, this one, this show is a tribute to a man with the most offbeat sense of humor I think I've ever heard. Shel Silverstein. Silverstein, actually, is how he pronounced it. Yeah, Silverstein. Kind of yeah. like Frankenstein, you know. Yes. Um, Born in 1930, passed away in 1999, um, has at least 12 or 13 albums out, wrote a lot of hits for a lot of people, and you said, did he really write that? <laughs> um, so here's one um, that... <clears throat> I have a comment. ...was written by Shell was recorded by Tom Paul and the, and the Glazers. It's called Put Another Log on the Fire. And... John Wendling is here, by the way. Hello, John. Hi, George. Great to Lynn see you. From Allentown, Pennsylvania. This is the kind of song you'd hear in West Texas. Southern Mississippi, Louisiana, 
or any place where they smoke picayune cigarettes and drink Jack Daniels. You'll hear him talking something like this. Put another log on the fire. Cook me up some bacon and some beans. And go out to the car and change the tire. Wash my socks and sew my old blue jeans. Come on, baby, you can fill my pipe and then go fetch my slippers. And boil me up another pot of tea. Then put another log on the fire, babe. And come and tell me why you're leaving me. Now don't I let you wash the car on Sunday Don't I warn you when you're getting fat Ain't I gonna take you fishing with me someday Well a man can't love a woman more than that Ain't I always nice to your kid sister Don't I take her driving every night so sit here at my feet Cause I like you when you're sweet And you know it ain't feminine to fight Put another log on the fire Cook me up some bacon and some beans And go out to the car Lift it up and change the tire Wash my socks and sew my old blue jeans Come on, baby, you can fill my pipe and then go fetch my slippers And boil me up another pot of tea Then put another log on the fire, babe And come and tell me why you're leaving me with us, Deborah Lynn Brace McInnes. Hi, guys. Hello, Debbie. Good warm, to see you. Warm enough for you, she asks. It's yes, indeed. Warm. And Bob Hale. Bob and Bren watching. Hello, Bob. Hello, Brenda. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome from England. Yes. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch. That's important to know because... So, you know, if we just disappear, it's probably because the power went out. Right. And there may be some thunder in the background for part of our... Uh, part of our show we're glad you all came yes uh this is the longest absence i think well second longest i was hospitalized one time and that yeah. but uh we've got all the pieces together all i have to do is learn to operate them um and i'm working hard on that and the next um item that we're going to do by shell is called Peace Proposal. It's a poem. Said General Clay to General Gore, Really must we fight this silly war? To kill and die is such a bore. I quite agree, said General Gore. Said General Gore to General Clay, We could go to the beach today and have some ice cream on the way. A grand idea, said General Clay. Said General Clay to General Gore, We'll build sandcastles on the shore. Said General Gore, We'll splash and play. Let's leave right now, said General Clay. Said General Gore to General Clay, But what if the sea's closed today? And what if the sand's been blown away? A dreadful thought, said General Clay. Said General Gore to General Clay, I've always feared the ocean spray. And we may drown. It's true, we may. It chills my blood, said General Clay. 
said General Clay to General Gore, My bathing suit is slightly tore. We'd better go on with our war. I quite agree, said General Gore. Then General Clay charged General Gore as bullets flew and cannons roared. And now at last, there is no more of General Clay or General Gore. All right. <laughs> wow. This uh, this next one was on Shell's Freakin' at the Freakers Ball album, 1972. Um, it's called All About You. In the Granville Greyhound Station, in the lightly drizzling rain, Sitting on my suitcase, going quietly insane. All about you, all about you, all about you and the no feeling, double dealing things that you do. Every man in Granville says he knows you well. Burn your ears if you could hear the stories that they tell. All about you. All about you. All about you and the no feeling, double dealing things that you do. They say you're picked up every Thursday in a rich man's limousine. And some cat in San Quentin keeps on having nasty dreams all about you. All about you. All about you and them no feeling double dealing things that you do. And now the summer sun might burn my back And these tears may dim my sight But before I die There's a dirty book I'm gonna write All about you, babe All about you All about you and them no feeling double dealing things that you do Yeah, the Granville Greyhound Station I've waited all night long Baby, you ain't gonna show I just go on singing this silly song All about you Tell the world all about you Tell them what you are and Tell them what you ain't, yeah I'm gonna put your name in it, baby Your mama's gonna know Tell your mama. Ziggy said George is working his other pedal with a smile face. Yes. Um, yeah. I uh, I heard this at at CAG, uh, the California Auto Harp Gathering in 2021. A guy had one of these, and uh, it, it, we we 
corralled the guy, and Lulu and Dan and I ganged up on him, and uh, he told us all about it. And uh, Dan's had one for a while. And uh, Sweetwater, which is where I buy all my audio gear these days, other than maybe cables and stuff, had a sale in uh, in June, like 25% off yep. of everything. <laughs> and so I uh, I bought one of these. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Here's one that was uh, recorded by Dr. Hook and was quite a hit on the uh, on the country scene. Dan said the pedal is working well. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a delicate piece of equipment though. Um you can you can produce some really horrible howling <laughs> harmonies if you're not careful. <laughs> Sylvia's mother says Sylvia is busy, too busy to come to the phone. Sylvia's mother says Sylvia is trying. To start a new life of her own Sylvia's mother says Sylvia is happy So why don't you leave her alone And the operator says Forty cents more For the next three minutes Please, Mrs. Avery, I just gotta talk to her. I'll only keep her a while. Please, Mrs. Avery, I just wanna tell her goodbye. Sylvia's mother said, Sylvie is packing She's gonna be leaving today Sylvia's mother says Sylvie is marrying A fella down Galveston Way And Sylvia's mother says Please don't say nothing to make her start crying and stay And the operator says Forty cents more For the next three minutes Please, Mrs. Avery I just want to talk to her I'll only keep her a while Please, Mrs. Avery, I just want to tell her goodbye. Sylvia's mother says, Sylvia is hurrying. She's catching the nine o'clock train. Sylvia's mother says, take your umbrella. Oh, Sylvie, it's starting to rain And Sylvia's mother says Thank you for calling And sir, won't you call back again And the operator says Forty cents more For the next three minutes Please, Mrs. Avery, I just want to talk to her. I'll only keep her a while. Please, Mrs. Avery, I just want to tell her goodbye. Tell her goodbye. Please tell her goodbye. I like that. 
that song. So do I. Did you say Dr. Hook did that one? Yeah, Dr. Hook recorded it and had a, a pretty big hit with it, actually. Yeah. He had a unique voice, that fella. Yeah, he sounded like he was crying most of the time. <laughs> and um, in that same vein, speaking of Dr. Hook, here's another one of Shell's that he recorded. It's called The Queen of the Silver Dollar. She's the queen of the silver dollar And she rules this smoky kingdom And her scepter is a wine glass And a bar stool is her throne And the jesters flock around her And fight to win her favors and see which one will take the queen of the silver dollar home. She arrives in all her splendor Every night at nine o'clock And her chariot is a crosstown bus That stops right down the block The old piano minstrel Plays her song as she walks in And the queen of the silver dollar She's home again She's the queen of the silver dollar And she rules this smoky kingdom And her scepter is a wine glass And a bar stool is her throne And the jesters flock around her and fight to win her favor And see which one will take the queen of the silver dollar home Her royal gown is a satin dress that stained and slightly torn Her sparkling jewels are rhinestone And her shoes are scuffed and worn From the many roads she's traveled And the wondrous sights she's seen I watch her and I pray God save the queen She's the queen of the silver dollar And she rules this smoky kingdom And her scepter is a wine glass And a bar stool is her throne And the jesters flock about her And fight to win her favor See which one will take the queen of the silver dollar home. The queen of the silver dollar is not as haughty as she seems. She was once an ordinary girl. With ordinary dreams Till I found her And I won her And brought her To this world 
Yes, I'm the one who made a queen of a simple country girl. She's a queen of the silver dollar, and she rules this smoky kingdom, and her scepter is a wine glass, and her and a bar stool is her throne, and the jesters flock around her and fight to win her favor. See which one will take the queen of the silver dollar home. Yeah. Nan is here, Nancy Bates. Hello, Nan. Good she, to see you. She said, hi, Lynn and George. Good to see you again. Indeed. And we have Butch Dyson. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Hello, Butch. It. He says, hello from Springville, Alabama. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, Nan said beautiful on that song. Thank you. With, and I agree. Yeah, we're we're They're, practically neighbors, Butch. Yeah. Let's get together and play some music. Yeah. And welcome everyone to our virtual back porch. Quite so. I uh on what will be a rainy another rainy day i think yeah, stormy it, it does uh it does uh look that way it's happening a lot <laughs> we are getting a lot of rain so. new gear lots of adjustments one Which of these says, days works for me <laughs> <laughs> one of these it days be great. yeah man uh we're in arab i don't really know uh how far apart that puts us but yeah. Anyway, this was uh, done. This is another one from uh, Shell's Freaking at the Freakers Ball album. And uh, the uh, accompaniment is Dr. Hook. So Shell takes the leads and... Uh, and then they come in on the courses, so we'll do our best to imitate that. Ah, yes, boys, play it sweet for me. I was sitting in my basement. I just rolled myself a taste of something green and gold and glorious to get me through the day. When my friend yells through my transom, grab your coat and get your hat, son. There's a nut down on the corner, a giving dollar bills away. But I sat around a bit and then had another hit and then I rolled myself a bomber. Thought about my mama, looked, loafed around, fooled around, played around a while and then I got stoned and I missed it. I got stoned and I missed it. I got stoned and it rolled right by. I got stoned and I missed it. I got stoned and I missed it. I got stoned. Oh me, oh my. It took seven months of urging just to get the local virgin with a sweet face up to my place to fool around a bit and when and next day she woke up rosy and she snuggled up so cozy but when she asked me how I'd liked it Lord it hurt me to admit I got stoned and I missed it I got stoned and I missed it, I got stoned, and it rolled right by. I got stoned and I missed it, I got stoned and I missed it, I got stoned, oh me oh my. Now I ain't making no excuses. 
For the many things I uses Just to brighten my relationships And sweeten up my day But when my earthly race is over And I'm ready for the clover And they ask me how my life has been I guess I have to say I was stoned and I missed it I was stoned and I missed it I was stoned and it rolled right by I was stoned and I missed it I was stoned and I missed it I was stoned Oh me oh my Ready for the storm later. Oh, okay. Is that the name of the Ready for the Storm? Yeah. And then Jerry Burgess is here. Hello, Jerry. Uh, he said, I made it, my friend. Sounds good as always. And then he said, Great song. And Benji, Charles Benjamin Ch Harris is here. He said, Hi, everybody. And uh, Laura said, It sounds fuzzy when you are singing the chorus. Um, that's because. I uh, don't know what I'm doing with this stuff quite yet. Um, and I, um, there are three interdependent controls that make this work. And um, I thought I could uh, dial in an improvement, and what I did is overdrove it. Um, so it got Yeah, there's a gain control on the pedal itself. And I, um, I turned it down, but I turned it down too far, and then I turned the mic volume. Anyway, we'll <laughs> we'll see what happens next time I use it. Um, I, uh, this this is a first, uh, so kind of bear with us. <laughs> um, and we will uh, proceed and sally forth, whoever she is. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? Mr. and Mrs. Fourth named their daughter Sally. Um, oh my! This um, I don't remember which album of his it was on. Shell wrote and recorded this. It's called the Diet Song. Well, breakfast black coffee, one piece of dry toast. No butter, no jelly, no jam. Lunch, just some lettuce, two celery stalks. No booze, no potatoes, no ham. Dinner, one chicken wing, broiled and not fried. No gravy, no biscuits, no pie. And this diet and diet and diet and diet and sure is a rough way to die. So pass me a carrot stick, peel me a prune, a glass of skim milk, and that's all. Turn off the TV for that Big Mac commercial. It's driving me straight up the wall. And I'm thinking of french fries and sausage and waffles, spaghetti and cookies and cake. And each night I am dreaming of chocolate ice cream And I'm starving to death when I wake All for your sake You're fixing the kids all those cream mashed potatoes But it's bullion and water for me And you've got a lock on the refrigerator Lord knows where you're hiding the key and while I am starving for food late at night, I'm starving for loving from you. But you say that when I can see my own, you'll be happy to look at it too. So, supper, two pieces of cauliflower raw, some beefsteak the size of a nail, one slice of tomato, a small dab of slaw, I swear I ate better in jail Stop eating that pizza right under my nose Girl, that's the least you can do 
And put down that candy bar while I am singing I'm starving my ass off for you And when I am dead with the insurance paid You'll look down at me and you'll grin You'll say the boy tried and he suffered and he starved and he died But don't he look good when he's thin Oh dear. Poor fellow. Yeah. Goodness. My God. Don't pile on too many pounds or you might uh you might share his fate. Whoa. This is a song that was on Shell's My Country Songs album. It's called I'm Going Down to Texas. How did I hurt that woman? She never done me wrong. I ran away and left her for a redhead and a song. I got no brains, I got no sense, I never had no class. So I'm going down to Texas to be one more horse's ass. Yeah, I'm going down to Texas and be one more horse's ass. I used to be a stallion, but that's all in the past. So paste the tail on my nose and point me toward the grass. Cause I'm going down to Texas to be one more horse's ass. I can't run in the hot sun and I won't run in the mud. I'm over age for racing and I'm overweight for stud. But I can dance and I can fight and throw a whiskey glass. I'm going down to Texas and be one more horse's ass. Yeah, I'm going down to Texas and be one more horse's ass. I used to be a stallion, but that's all in the past. So paste a tail on my nose and point me toward the grass Cause I'm going down to Texas and be one more horse's ass Yeah, I'm going down to Texas and be one more horse's ass. I used to be a stallion, but that's all in the past. So paste the tail on my nose and point me toward the grass. Cause I'm going down to Texas to be one more horse's ass. Horses, 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 ass. Yeah, I'm going down to Texas and be one more horse's ass. Uh, Loretta DeVore is here, and she said, I think he's singing with a recorded chorus. Anyway, that's what I hear. So... Folks who have come in after you mentioned what you were doing don't know. Actually, uh, Loretta, it's a, a device called a harmonizer. And I have um, pickups built in to, the, to this auto harp. I have a pickup. And the auto harp is plugged into the harmonizer, and my microphone is also plugged into the harmonizer. And then there is an output from the harmonizer to my microphone channel on my mixer. And there's a um, cable 
uh, 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 just a patch cord from another output on the harmonizer that goes to the input on my mixer where my auto harp would normally be. And then it be, it's a foot control. And uh, it's the first time I've ever really used it. And I'm trying very hard to get used to it. Uh, she also said a great big Arkansas howdy. And then uh, she <laughs> I said, read it. okay, makes, and then she said science, but I think that's Sense. autocorrect. And a heart. I think <laughs> autocorrect got her. And Ivan is here. Ivan Styles. Hello, Ivan. He says, hi, Lynn and George was napping, therefore late. Well, that's not a bad thing to do. Folks, if <laughs> if you missed Ivan's show last Sunday, you missed a, a great one. He he got together with his cousin, Sonny. Oh. No rehearsal. And they oh. sounded like they'd been doing it forever. I mean, it was something else. Go back and listen to it if uh, if you want to hear some really good uh, some good music and some really great two part harmony. And he has a show tomorrow too, I believe. Yes, he does a show every Sunday at two o'clock Eastern Time yes. on the Ivan Styles page. Uh, strongly recommend you tune him in if uh, if you're not doing something else. Uh, it's well worth your time. It's a mystery, and Ivan said thanks for the plug. But he's very deserving. Any time. Any time at all. Let's see how that works. Fortunately, we don't need it right now. Um, this is one that Shell wrote and recorded. And it is called, Everybody's Making It Big But Me. Elvis, he's a hero, he's a superstar. And I hear that Paul McCartney drives a Rolls Royce car. Dylan sings for millions, and I just sing for free. Oh, everybody's making it big but me. Oh, everybody's making it big but me. Everybody's making it big but me. Neil Diamond sings for diamonds. And here's old rhinestone me. Oh, everybody's making it big but me I hear that Alice Cooper's got a foxy chick To wipe off his snake and to keep him rich And Elton John's got two fine ladies, Dr. John's got three And I'm still seeing them same old sleeves, those that I used to see Oh, everybody's making it big but me. Everybody's making it big but me. Heck, I got charisma and personality. How come everybody's making it big but me? I paint my face with glitter just like Boo, it does, and I wear the same mascara that Mick Jagger does. And I even put some lipstick on, but that upset my dad and mom, and everybody's making it big but me. Oh, everybody's making it big but me. Everybody's making it big but me. They all got groupies for their pads And all I got is my right hand And everybody's making it big but me Another good one. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody to my rehearsal this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh. This uh, this is another one of Shell's poems. 
I'll sing you a story of a silly young king who played with the world at the end of a string, but he only loved one single thing, and that was just a peanut butter sandwich. His scepter and his royal gowns, his regal throne and golden crowns, were brown and sticky from the mounds and drippings from each peanut butter sandwich. His subjects all were silly fools, for he had passed a royal rule that all that they could learn in school was how to make a peanut butter sandwich. He would not eat his sovereign steak. He scorned his soup and kingly cake and told his courtly cook to bake an extra sticky peanut butter sandwich. And then one day he took a bite and started chewing with delight, mm. but found his mouth was stuck quite tight from that last bite of peanut butter sandwich. His brother pulled, his sister pried, the wizard pushed, his mother cried, my boy's committed suicide from eating his last peanut butter sandwich. The dentist came and the royal doc, the royal plumber banged and knocked, but still those jaws stayed tightly locked. Oh, darn that sticky peanut butter sandwich. The carpenter, he tried with pliers, the telephone man tried with wires. The firemen, they tried with fire, but couldn't melt that peanut butter sandwich. <clears throat> with ropes and pulleys, drills and coil, with steam and lubricating oil, for twenty years of tears and toil, they fought that awful peanut butter sandwich. Then all his royal subjects came. They hooked his jaws with grappling chains and pulled both ways with might and main against that stubborn peanut butter sandwich. Each man and woman, girl and boy, put down their plows and pots and toys and pulled until key rack. Oh, joy. They broke right through that peanut butter sandwich. A pup of dust. A screech. A squeak. The king's jaw opened with a creak. And then in voice so faint and weak, the first words that they heard him speak were, How about a peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> no. It seems to me that some guys never learn. No. Oh, dear. Oh. That's quite a story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was on his... Um, Shel Silverstein sings children's songs. Oh, of course. Um, there's another one from that album coming up. And there are some really weird songs on there, I'll tell you. I was recently given an, given access to a um, Shel Silverstein discog discography. There were 11 albums in it from 1959 through like 1985. A lot of stuff I hadn't heard before. I haven't listened to all of it yet. But uh, this is another one from his... Um, Shel Silverstein's country songs and it's called Somebody Stole My Rig I'm hauling 20 tons of freight into New York State started thinking about Mary Jane she lived over the hill I had an hour to kill I thought I'd get in out of the rain why she looked so fine, had a bottle of wine, I had myself a little bitty swig. Then I heard wheels on the cinders and I run to the windows and somebody stole my rig. Oh, somebody stole my rig. Somebody stole my rig. Heard the wheels on the cinders and I run to the windows and somebody stole my rig. And when I called up the cops, told them try to stop them, nobody answered the phone. And so I called up my honey, told her, send me bus money. She said, don't bother coming home. And so I told, called the boss and said the load was lost. I thought he's going to flip his wig. 
Yeah, a moment, quick enjoyment. Now I'm back on unemployment because somebody stole my rig. Ah, somebody stole my rig. Somebody stole my rig. Yeah, a moment, quick enjoyment. Now I'm back on unemployment because somebody stole my rig. But if I ever get a job behind the wheel again, I'm never going to fool around. I'll keep an eye on the road and an eye on the load, and I'll never even slow it down. And I'll stay concerned with the lesson I learned. I bet it's going to change my luck. And I'll never leave the truck to go visit no girl. I'm going to bring the girls to the truck. Oh, somebody stole my rig. Somebody stole my rig. A moment, quick enjoyment. Now I'm back on unemployment because somebody stole my rig. Yeah, wheels on the cinders and I run to the windows and somebody stole my rig. Yeah, I tell you, my black book was in the glove compartment. That's what really bugs me. I don't mind walking or losing my job or anything. Somebody stole my rig. They could have borrowed it, brought it back. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Lars said to Ivan, going to watch your concert tomorrow, Ivan, but I may need to watch it later. Getting the house ready for my folk circle meet. If I have time, I will catch it live. Folk circle meet. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Indeed. Wow. Uh, Laura is a very good auto harp player, mm -hmm. and she has a beautiful voice. Um, she really has. Uh, uh, I get to hear her on... Um, uh, Karen Terrell Hoffman's uh, rock and roll uh, oh, yeah. Zoom song circle. Uh, that is every third and fourth Saturdays by invitation. If anybody's interested, I'll see if I can get you in. If you want to watch people play good old rock and roll on an auto harp, and yes, indeed, you can you do can it. You can do it. Um, that's the place to be. I always join on the third. Of course, we have a show to do on the fourth Saturday, so I can't uh, right. can't uh, join then. But uh, great people, uh, really good musicians. Ziggy's uh, usually there. Uh, Drew Smith is there. Uh, uh, my goodness, uh, Harp and Howard Solomon's there. Uh, it's a pretty good thing. Uh, Lara said, "My piano teacher is ninety on Tuesday." We are celebrating it early. Wow. Wow. Well, congratulations. Yes. On, uh, Happy birthday to yes, her from all her. of us. Yes. Um, this is a song called I Can't Touch the Sun. I can't touch the clouds for you I never reach the sun for you I've never done the things You needed done for you I'm stretched as high as I can reach I guess I'm not the one for you Cause I can't touch the clouds Or reach the sun for you No, I can't touch the clouds or reach the sun I can't turn back time for you and make you sweet 16 again I can't turn your barren fields to green again and I can't sit around and talk about what might have been again I can't turn back time make you young again I can't turn back time and make you young I can't look inside your mind and see the things you're hoping for I can't help you chase the dreams you're groping for I know your heart is open wide but I don't know who it's open for I don't know your mind or chase your dreams with you. I can't chase your dreams or know your mind. 
So say goodbye and don't look back. I've had some happy days with you. Sorry I can't be the one who stays with you. And if they ask about me, say, I was the one who was with you. Who never touched the clouds or reached the sun for you. I can't touch the clouds or reach the sun. I can't touch the clouds or reach the sun. That's a good song. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. All right. Walmart low sodium vegetable juice. Yes. I just discovered this recently. And did you say you liked it better than uh, V8? I like it better. I like it better than the v- than V8. Yeah, than the name brand. Yeah. We're finding uh, products we like. Yeah, we're buying a lot of store brands these <laughs> days. <laughs> store brands. They're not bad. You can eat it. Uh, I think a lot of folks are doing that. I think it all comes out of the same pots anyway. Probably to be honest does. With you. But you almost have to find ways. Um, yeah, you got to economize these days. Yep. The money's no good, that's for sure. Um, Just makes us all think more, you know, yeah. and have ideas. <laughs> you know, that's right. Get more creative, I think, is what I'm working toward here. Well, I bought at on during the same sale um that Sweetwater had in June I bought a small amp. Oh yeah. And I haven't what with all the audio problems I've had and everything I haven't really had a chance to play with it much. But I'm going to learn how to use it and then after the show on the 26th I'm going to go out and do picking on the porch day or play yes. music on the porch day. What day is that, picking the, on the porch day? Uh, it's two weeks from today. Two weeks. So we'll be going, if, if, I, if it's not raining or something, hmm. we'll, yeah. we'll be going from here out to the porch for a, a little while and uh, play and irritate the neighbors and, <laughs> and all that. This is another song. Uh, I think this is the last one we're going to do today from his... Uh, children's songs album and it's called Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out it's one of Dan's favorites yes mine too oh Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out she'd wash the dishes and scrub the pans, cook the yams and spice the hams, and though her parents would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown and rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floors, it cracked the windows and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, Pizza crust and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of blackburn buttered toast, gristly bits of beefy roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. I mean, greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, 
cellophane from old bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crust of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggs, shells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last, the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky and none of her friends would come to play and all the neighbors moved away and finally Sarah Cynthia Stout said okay I'll take the garbage out but then of course it was too late the garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate and there in the garbage she did hate poor Sarah met an awful fate which I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late but children remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out yes <laughs> You're a little off mic somehow. Okay, I was for a second there. Okay, am I back? Yes. It was the song. <laughs> <laughs> Take anyone off mic. Yeah. <laughs> Put it's you another, off your dinner and everything else. It's another good one, though. Yes, I like it. He's good with uh, making the pictures in your mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had heard songs that he recorded for other people he wrote a boy named sue by the way did he yes no way yeah he did it was on his shell oh, silver Spoon's country song but <laughs> wow. i've done it a lot and yeah. so i chose See, not to do it today yeah. if we have some extra time i might throw it in at the end but i have no idea what time it is well i don't either except that i know we've been on for one hour one minute and 57 seconds because it tells me so what turn your wrist a little more this away 204. Oh, okay. We're in. We're, we are. Uh, these songs are kind of short, so. Oh, uh, uh, Bay Allen is here. Hello, he said, Bay. Did you ha. do um, Mermaid Song? No, I didn't. Yeah, I've, I've heard it, but I didn't work it up for this. Oh. Um, I don't think I've heard that. You haven't. Lara said, I need to leave soon. Are you planning to do the unicorn? No, but oh, I will. Yeah, you, you know that one. I'll do that right now. Write it down so I can remember to put it in the list. Okay. Let, me, uh, let me bring the lyrics up. All right, Laura, just for you. Never let it be said we aren't flexible. She said thank you so much. This was uh, written by Shell and was recorded by the Irish Rovers, I think, 68. They had a pretty good hit with it. Long time ago when the earth was green And there was more kinds of animals than you'd ever seen They'd run around free while the earth was being born But the loveliest of all was the unicorn There were green alligators and long-necked geese Some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees some cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn. Now God seen some sin, and it gave him pain, and he said, stand back, I'm going to make it rain. He said, hey, brother Noah, i tell you what to do, build me a floating zoo, and take some of them green alligators and long neck geese. Some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees Some cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born 
don't you forget my unicorn. Old Noah was there to answer the call. He finished up making the ark just as the rain started pouring. He marched in the animals two by two, and he called out as they went through. Hey, Lord, I got your green alligators and long-necked geese, some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, but Lord, I'm so forlorn. I just can't see no unicorn. Then Noah looked out through the driving rain, and them unicorns were hiding, playing silly games, kicking and splashing while the rain was pouring. Oh, them silly unicorns. There were green alligators and long neck geese, some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees, some cats and rats and elephants. Noah cried, close the door, cause the rain is pouring, and we just can't wait for no unicorn. The ark started moving, it drifted with the tide. Them unicorns looked up from the rocks and they cried. And the waters came down and sort of floated them away. And that's why you'll never see a unicorn to this very day. You'll see green alligators and long neckies, some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, you're never gonna see no unicorn. I have a comment from Judy Nudson, and she said, wow, that's an oldie. Hi from <laughs> OK, and OKC. Uh, need good listening today. Hubby in heaven, 83 today. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, yes. anyway. Uh, it's nice to have you join us yes, from Oklahoma Judy, City. Thank you. G Judy, I. It's um, good. Welcome. Yeah, I, I sent her an invite. Oh, uh, she's good. a sp Facebook friend of mine. Oh, good, and, uh, good to have you. Hopefully, we can maybe cheer you up a little bit, Judy. Yes. Uh, I'm so glad you uh, joined us. And Loretta said, such a cute song, and you do great, and with a heart. So, yes, you did. Thank you. <laughs> Makes me sad for unicorns. Aw. <laughs> yeah. They're beautiful. I could, you know, I won't do it right away, but we could do Shel Silverstein Revisited. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Because there's, there's, a, a there's a lot of songs I, uh, I left out. There was you another know. one that was mentioned. Did you play? Mermaid song. Yeah, I don't know that song. I've never played it in my in my life, uh, uh, so I can't. I wish I could play that. If you will write it down, okay. I will certainly try to play it. Let make maybe next uh, next time. Bay Allen said, "Nice." <laughs> Thanks, Bay. I appreciate just that. A little bit and see. Uh, that was Bay who asked about that song on the Mermaid song. That yeah. Was Bay. I uh, I can't get this thing adjusted quite the way I want it. I either have problems with the harmony dropping out, or it distorts. They said Jim Queskin does it. Oh, does he? I, that figures. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> that know. guy is ageless. <laughs> I remember listening to his jug band on the radio during the uh, folk music era back in the really? 60s. Oh, yeah. And uh, I got to hear him in person at, at the California Auto Harp gathering. And he was oh. back there again last year, I think. You know, this year, at, you know, the gathering's yeah. over. But yeah. And one of his band uh, <coughs> ladies, 
uh, band member gals showed me how to play the jug. I've always wanted to do that. I didn't know about that. And uh, that's cool. Yeah, I now know how to uh, how to do it. Yeah, because she did it, and I said, Man, how, do you "How do you do that? How do you do that?" Because I tried <laughs> blowing across the top like you do a pop bottle and stuff, and that's not how you do it. Ah. So I'm going to tell you all how to do it in case you ever wanted to play the jug. Okay. You play it like a, a, a wind instrument, like a trumpet or a trombone or a tuba. Oh. And you, you get the different notes by your embouchure. That's how it's done. Um, I sounded rather like a drunken moose <laughs> when I tried it, but... Uh, hey, points for trying. Everybody got a good laugh out of it, and hey, you know... That's points for trying. Points. Kind of what I'm about. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so what the heck? Um, anyway, I have made yet another adjustment to the harmonizer. We'll see what happens here in a little bit. The next song on the list was recorded by Bobby Bear, and it's called Food Blues. I was waiting in Rosie's restaurant when the waiter came up and said, What do you want? I looked at the menu and it looked so nice till he said, Let me give you some advice. He said, Spaghetti and taters got too much starch. Pork chops and sausage are bad for your heart. There's hormones in chicken and beef and veal. A bowl of ravioli is a dead man's meal. Bread's got preservatives, there's nitrites and ham, artificial coloring and jellies and jam. Stay away from donuts and run away from pie. Pepperoni pizza is a sure way to die. Sugar rots your teeth, makes you put on weight. But artificial sweeteners got cyclamates. Eggs got cholesterol, there's fat and cheese. Coffee ruins your kidneys and so does tea. Fish got mercury, red meat is pies, and salt's gonna send your blood pressure rising. Hot dogs and bologna got deadly red dyes. Vegetables and fruits are sprayed with pesticides. So I said, what can I eat that's gonna make me last? He said, a small drink of water in a sterilized glass. Then he stopped and he thought for a minute and said, Never mind the water, there's carcinogenics in it. So I got up from the table and walked out in the street, realizing there was nothing I could eat. I ain't eating for a month, and I'm feeling fine. Cause he did not mention beer, whiskey, women, or sweet red wine. Yeah. <laughs> so there. By golly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's raining. Well, I was hearing the thunder. It was getting loud there about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> One of the additions, the many changes that we made, <clears throat> when we lost the mixer, we you know, got, did a lot of things we were going to get around to doing. Right. And one of the things that I bought was a cheap pair of in-ear monitor type headphones. So I can hear what the signal going out sounds like. I can tell if, if Lynn gets off mic. Yes. Which she can't help doing because uh, of the way we have this set up. <clears throat> when she turns her head... To look at the camera or something and talks, she's off off mic. The, the, yeah, I'm trying to. You're off mic now. Uh, now okay. you're back. So I need to raise that up again. See, what's the problem is that I'm having is that the piece that holds the mic upward lets it slip back down over time. It, oh. And, uh, I don't know how to work the um, 
arm exactly. The boom. Hold it up and tighten the, the knob on the side. No, you mean I have to untighten it to move it up and then tighten no, it. No, you can you move it up. You say it slipped down and then you no, moved I'm it. I'm saying the part on the actual mic where the microphone phone attaches to the boom, but there's also the place where you can move the boom itself up and down. Yeah. The piece All right, well, we'll holds, do that later. Yeah, the piece that holds the microphone keeps wanting to let it fall a little bit over time. Okay. And I can sort of scoot down and follow it, but no, it's just tedious. <laughs> go ahead and, and keep adjusting it. Get okay. through this show, and then we'll fix it. Yes, and I'll try to remember to speak louder. That's another. Yeah. Well, the main fault. thing is the main thing. I didn't realize that was happening. The main thing is to keep that pointed in the right direction, and then you'll be fine. Because we start the show, and everything's Jake, and then right, and then it, after time, it goes just yeah. Down. All right. Yeah. Well, also, I will not always keep my voice up, and I have to do that. Well, or we can raise your level, but anyway. There goes the thunder again. Ooh. Oh, I could hear that through my headphones. Y'all might have heard that. That one was loud. Still going on, in fact. Rumble, thunder. Yes, indeed. Um, Goodness. This one was... Uh, Recorded, was written and recorded by Shell, and it was on his Freaking at the Freakers Ball album. We've done it a couple times. Uh, we did it on a show called Let's Get High, where we did every song was about drugs of some kind or other. <laughs> um, it's called The Great American Smoke Off. It's a long song. It's about six minutes long. But here we go. In the laid-back California town of sunny San Rafael lived a girl named Pearly Sweetcake. You probably knew her well. She'd been stoned 15 of her 18 years and her story was widely told how she could smoke them faster than anyone could roll. Her legend finally reached New York, that Grove Street walk-up flat, where dwelt the Calistoga Kid, a beatnik from the past. He'd been rolling dope since time began, and now he took a cultured toke, and he said, Chip, I can roll up faster than any chick can smoke. So a note gets sent to San Rafael for the championship of the world. The kid demands a smoke-off. Well, bring him on, says Pearl. I'll grind his fingers off his hands. He'll roll until he drops, says Calisto. I'll smoke that chick till she blows up and pops. So they rent out Yankee Stadium. And the news is quickly spread. Come one, come all who walk or crawl. Tickets just two lids a hit. And from every town and hamlet, over land and sea they speed. The world's greatest doper with the world's greatest weed. Hashishers from Morocco, hemp smokers from Peru. And the Shashniks from Bagoon who puff the deadly Pugaru. And those who call it light of life. And those who call it boo. See the dealers and their ladies wearing turquoise lace and leather. See the narcos and the closet smokers puffing all together. From the teenies who smoke legal, to the ones who've done some time, to the old man who smoked Rafa back before it was a crime, and the grand old house that Ruth built is filled with the smokes and cries of 50,000 screaming heads all stoned out of their minds, and they play the national anthem, and the crowd lets out a roar. As the spotlight hits the kid and Pearl, ready for their smoking war. 
At a table piled up high with grass as high as a mountain peak. Just tops and buds of the rarest flowers, not one stem, branch, or seed. Maui, wowie, Panama red, Acapulco gold. Keith from East Afghanistan and that rare Alaska cold. Sticks from Thailand, Gandhi from the island, and Bangkok's blooming best. Some of that wet imported shit that capsized off Key West. There's Oaxacan tops and Kenya bang and Riviera fleurs and that rare Manhattan silver that grows down the New York sewers. And there's bubbling ice cold lemonade and sweet grapes by the bunches and Hershey bars and Oreos in case anybody gets the munchies. And the Calistoga kid, he smiles. And Pearly, she just grins. And the drums roll low. And the crowd yells, go, go, go! And the world's first smoke-off begins. The kid, he flinks. The kid, he flicks his fingers once and zap that first joint's roll. Pearl takes one toke with her famous lungs and whoosh, that roach is cold. Then the kid... He rolls his super bomb that would paralyze a moose. And Pearly takes one super hit and zap, that bomb's diffused. Then he rolls three in just ten seconds and she smokes them up in nine. And everybody sits back and says, hey, this just might take some time. See the blur of flying fingers? See the red coal burn and bright As the night turns into morning And the morning fades to night And the autumn turns to summer And a whole damn year is gone But the two still sit on that roach-filled stage Smoking and rolling on With trembling hands he rolls his jays With fingers blue and stiff She coughs and stares with bloodshot gaze and puffs through blistered lips. And as she reaches out her hand for another stick of gold, the kid, he gasps, Damn it, bitch, there's nothing left to roll. Nothing left to roll, screams Pearl. Is this some twisted joke? I didn't come here to fool around. I came here to smoke. And she reaches across the table and grabs his bony sleeves. And she crumbles his body between her hands like dry and brittle leaves, flicking out his teeth and bones like useless stems and seeds. And then she rolls him in a zigzag, lights him like a roach. And the fastest man with the fastest hands goes up in a puff of smoke. In the laid-back California town of sunny San Rafael lives a girl named Pearly Sweetcake. You probably know her well. She's been stoned 21 of her 24 years and her story is widely told how she can still smoke them faster than anyone can roll while off in New York City on a street that has no name. There's the hands of the Calistoga Kid in the Vipers Hall of Fame. And underneath his fingers, there's a little golden scroll that says, Beware of being the roller when there's nothing left to roll. (laughs) Oh, dear. Uh, Carol Stober is here. Hello, Carol. And she said, what was the Tom T. Hall song title, uh, Carol in Alabama? She So she's in Alabama. The Tom T. T. Hall, Hall song, song title. title. Well, Tom had a lot of song titles, Carol, and I'm not quite sure uh, which one you're talking about. If you would uh, was there a, leave uh, another comment and tell me a little bit about what it was uh, about. Tom T. Hall sing one of Shell's? Now you're back. 
you were off mic again. Uh, didn't he, didn't you say a little bit ago that Tom T. Hall recorded one of? No. Oh, okay. At least I didn't mean to. Um. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, he may have, but Tom wrote most of his own stuff. He passed away last year at the age of 85. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know that. Yeah. Welcome, Carol. Yes. Uh, where, in, where in Alabama are you? Uh, anyway, we'll try to find the title of that song for you. <clears throat> Here's a song that was recorded by a guy named Bob Gibson. And... Uh, Let the boys sing with me today. Here. There you go. Um, let's see. So you're taking better care of your body. Becoming more aware of your body. Responding to your body's needs. Everything you hear and read about diets, nutrition, and sleeping position. And buying machines that they advertise to help you exercise. Herbs to vitalize if you're traumatized. Soaps that will sanitize. Soaps that will deodorize. Liquids to neutralize pesticides. Free weights to maximize your strength and exercise. Shocks, shots that will energize, pills to re-energize you, re-energize you. But remember, after all your gain and pain, eventually the story ends the same. You can quit smoking, but you're still going to die. Quit toking and coking, but you're still going to die. Eliminate everything fatty or fried, and you get real healthy but you're still gonna die with booze and coos you're still gonna die wear Birkenstock shoes you're still gonna die you can cut out coffee and never get high but you're still gonna still gonna still gonna die you're still gonna still gonna still gonna die you're still gonna still gonna still gonna die you can even give aerobics one more try but when the music stops playing you're still gonna die. You can stop getting tanned, but you're still gonna die. Eat a lot of oat bran, you're still gonna die. You can search for UFOs way up in the sky, and they might fly you to Mars where you're still gonna die. Put seat belts in your car, you're still gonna die. Cut out nicotine and tar, you're still gonna die. You can exercise that cellulite off of your thigh, Get slimmer and trimmer, but you're still gonna die. You're still gonna, still gonna, still gonna die. You're still gonna, still gonna, still gonna die. And all the Reeboks and Adidas and Nikes you buy, you can jog up to heaven, but you're still gonna die. Drink ginseng tonics, you're still gonna die. Try high colonics, you're still gonna die. You can have yourself frozen and suspended in time, but when they do thaw you out, you're still gonna die. You can have safe sex, you're still gonna die. You can switch to crest, you're still gonna die. You can get rid of you can get rid of stress, get a lot of more rest, get an AIDS test, enroll in est, move out west where it's sunny and dry, and you'll live to be a hundred, but you're still gonna die. You're still gonna, still gonna, still gonna die. You're still gonna, still gonna, still gonna die. So you'd better have fun for you say bye bye. Cause you're still gonna, still gonna, still gonna die. Uh, Carol said um, the one you just played, the song about food you sang. Oh, that was. That was actually recorded, the, the guy who had a hit with that was Bobby Bear, and it's called Food Blues. 
Food Blue. I did not know that Tom T did it, but um, the 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 uh, version that got the most radio play back when we lived up in in Lancaster, Ohio, was the Bobby Bear version of it. Ah, and she also said, "I'm in Talladega." Oh, okay. And uh, Ziggy said, "Shel Silverstein has certainly a crazy fantasy." And he is, he's a strange yeah. man, yes. Yes, he is. And that uh, the song about Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout will take you down that road. He's just yeah. <laughs> That's one of Dan Walking's favorites. Well, it is mine too. It's uh, very clever. Yeah. Uh, uh, Debbie Lane is here. Hello, Debbie. Always glad Welcome. To get in for part <laughs> of the live. Hello, with a grin. Face. I'm so glad you were able to join us live. Yes, and uh, Carol said. About all of the food you can eat, but ends up drinking wine, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's, that's called that. that's called food blues. Food blues. And uh, as I said, I don't know, I don't know that Tom T didn't do it, but the hit version was done by Bobby Bear. Bobby Bear. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing how many people recorded Shell stuff. That was I know. Doctor Hook, Bobby Bear, Johnny Cash. Um, yeah, because boy named Sue. Yeah. Bobby Bear did another one of his that we're going to do here in a little bit. Um, and I think I got the boys tuned up right now. All right. Here's another one from his uh, Freaking at the Freakers Ball album. Oh, it's called Masochistic Baby. Oh, ever since... My masochistic baby went and left me. She done left you a kiss. I got nothing, nothing to hit but the wall, poor wall. She loved me when I beat her, but I started acting sweeter. Oh, and that ain't no way to treat her. At, oh, let's see. She loved me when I beat her, but I started acting sweeter, and that ain't no way to treat her at all. She is the one that I'm dreaming of, and you always hurt the one you love. And ever since my masochistic baby went and left me, I got nothing to hit but the wall. Nothing to beat but the eggs. Nothing to belt but my pants. Nothing to whip but the cream. Nothing to punch but the clock. Nothing to strike but a match. Oh, nothing. Nothing to hit but the wall. That's a weird problem to have. Yeah. Strange fellow there. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm really delighted that we've got some people who are new, or at least I believe to be new. Yes. Got a couple of Alabamians. Yes. Okay. We got it. We got us a trio if we can all figure out a central point to meet. There you go. And then we'll get Luana Beard to join us and Yes, she's We'll just we'll just have a an AAG, an auto uh, Alabama auto harp gathering. That's what we'll do. There. <laughs> oh, uh <clears throat> Carol said thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, Carol. Um uh, This song was recorded by all kind of people. The first version I heard of it, uh, the first version of it I heard was uh, recorded by a folk group called the Chad Mitchell Trio back in, oh, I don't know, after John Denver joined them, so it would probably be 66, 67, somewhere like that. And it's called The Three-Legged Man. Well, now, friend, you'll never guess it, so I really must confess it. I just met the sweetest woman of my long, dismal life. 
But a friend of mine said, buddy, just in case your mind is muddy, don't you know that girl you're fooling with is Peg Leg Johnson's wife? And that man is big and tough, mean, grim. And he'll brain you with his artificial limb. But next morning, bright and early, I stole old Peg Leg's girly, and I also took his wooden leg. Just play it safe. But there weren't no time for laughter, cause he started hopping after, and I keep on running faster, but he won't give up the chase. And I'm running through the mountains with his bride, and I got his wooden leg here by my side. I'm a three-legged man with a two-legged woman being chased cross country by a one-legged fool. Oh, he's hopping and he's flopping and, and he's show no sign stopping. I tell you, boys, his life is hard and cruel. Cross the deserts and the valleys and those dark Chicago alleys. Cross the mighty Mississippi to the hills of Caroline. Cross through the mountains of Montana and the swamps of Louisiana. Every time that I look back, he's just one step behind. And I know he must be cold and wet and sick But in spite of all his troubles he can kick I'm a three-legged man with a two-legged woman Being chased cross-country by a one-legged fool Oh, he's hopping and he's flopping and he's show no sign stopping I tell you, boys, his life is hard and cruel Now he's ragged and he's filthy, and I'm feeling kind of guilty, especially in the evening when I hear him pleading bay. He says, spite of all your stealing, friend, I bear you no hard feelings. You can keep the damned old woman, but please give me back my leg. For although the leg you meant to take was wooden, in the dark by mistake you took my good one. I'm a three-legged man with a two-legged woman being chased cross country by a one-legged fool. Oh, he's hopping and he's flopping and he showed no sign stopping. I tell you, boy, that life is hard and cruel. I then said, nice concert folks have to go mind the barbecue now. We'll catch the rest later. Oh, I wish I could teleport up there. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I had some good barbecue. Thanks, Ivan. Thanks for stopping by. I'll, uh, I'll drop in on you tomorrow. I can't stay long, but I will listen to the whole thing later. I've got a, a thing i got to do. But uh, okay. best to you and Nancy. Enjoy your barbecue, and we'll see yes. you soon. And uh, Ziggy said, I have the freaking at the Freakers Ball vinyl album, but I haven't played it for years. So many thanks <laughs> for reminding me of all the albums. Of I'm course. sorry, of the albums songs. Yeah. Smile face. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we had the vinyl too. Ziggy, Ziggy in Zoom meetings, we'll be talking about some obscure artist, some obscure album, and Ziggy disappears for a minute and comes up with it. He, he's got the biggest record collection of anybody I know, vinyl wow. and, and all. He's got them all, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is the other one in the, in the show that was uh, written by Shell and recorded by um, Bobby Bear. It's called The Winner. I've never done this. There's several oh, of these I've good. never done. Sorry about that. Um, Lynn's heard me do this. I did it when we when we did a a thing for um, Dan, her, her brother Dan's mother-in-law, Louise. Louise, yes. Savile Yard. It's called the Winner. The hulk of a man with a beer in his hand He looked like a drunk old fool I knew if I hit him right Why well, I could knock him off of that stool 
But everybody, they said, hey, watch out. That's Tiger Man McCool. He's had a whole lot of fights. He's always come out the winner. Yeah, he's a winner. But I had myself about five too many, and I walked up tall and proud. I faced his back, and I faced the fact that he'd never stooped or bowed. I said, Tiger Man, you're a pussycat. And a hush fell on the crowd. I said, let's you and me go outside and see who's the winner. Well, he gripped the bar with one big hairy hand and he braced against the wall. He slowly looked up from his beer and my God, that man was tall. He said, boy, I see you're a scrapper. So just before you fall, I'm going to tell you just a little about what it means to be a winner. He said, you see these bright white smiling teeth, you know they ain't my own. Mine rolled away like chicklets down the street in San Antonio. But I left that person cursing, nursing seven broken bones. And he only broke uh, three of mine, and that makes me the winner. He said, now behind this grin, I got a steel pin that holds my jaw in place. A trophy of my most successful motorcycle race. And each morning when I wake and touch this scar across my face, it reminds me of all I got by being a winner. Now this broken back was the dying act of the handsome Harry Clay. That sticky Cincinnati night, I stole his wife away. But that woman, she gets uglier and she gets meaner every day. But I got her, boy. That's what makes me the winner. He said, you got to speak loud when you challenge me, son, because it's hard for me to hear. With this twisted neck and these migraine pains and this big old cauliflower ear. And if it wasn't for this glass eye of mine, why, I'd shed a happy tear to think about all you going to get by being a winner. I got arthritic elbows, boy. I got dislocated knees from picking fights with thunderstorms and charging into trees. And my nose been broke so often, I might lose it if I sneeze. And son, you say you still want to be a winner? Now you remind me a lot of my younger days with your knuckles a clenching white but boy I'm gonna sit right here and sip this beer all night and if there's something you gotta gain or prove by winning some silly fight well okay I quit I lose you're the winner so I stumbled from that bar room not so tall and not so proud and behind me I still hear the hoots of laughter from the crowd. But my eyes still see and my nose still works and my teeth are still in my mouth. And you know, I guess that makes me the winner. Wow. Uh, you're right Philosophy on Mike. Philosophy in that. Yeah, there is. My goodness. Yeah, I... Um, I heard that on the radio when we lived up in Lancaster, Ohio, mm -hmm. and I didn't know Shell wrote it, but I should have, I guess. Well, I wasn't that musically knowledgeable back well, then. Anyway, right. I was just. But he wrote so many things that I just oh I'm my so goodness. surprised. Yeah, uh, Lara had to go. Got to go yeah. uh, now. Thank you 
for doing my request and before that Ziggy said I have only a little more than 1,000 vinyl albums and about as many CDs I know a guy with three high walls full of LPs and CDs he used to be a radio DJ oh yeah he'd get them after they quit playing them I'll bet that's really a collection that's that's true yeah well yeah. I never try to get too big for my britches <clears throat> Ziggy because there's always somebody that's better than me you know uh, <laughs> but you you do have an impressive collection. Yes, that's a lot of, of uh, LPs to, or vinyl albums to still have. Yeah, well CDs too, but the vinyl albums would be more rare, I would think. Oh yeah, nowadays. You know. uh, but yeah, that's uh, Libby Kahn's song circle is is uh, the friendliest one around. And it's the one that I I really in, enjoy the most. For one thing, everybody in there understands that I can't see, so they'll tell me what's going on. They right. tell me when Ziggy holds up an album cover and stuff. Yes. You know? <laughs> uh, where's Indy? Uh, I think he's still in his crate. Is he in his crate? I don't see him. Okay. Sadie got down. She got worried by the the uh, thunder, but she's okay. Yeah. Well, Sadie must take her tornado safety precautions at all she times. Does, she, yes. She's she, afraid of. She uh, will go into the bathroom and get into the bathtub. If if you don't stop her, if you her, don't she stop will. her, that's where she'll go. If there's a thunderstorm, that Sadie yeah. knows. I think she's the reincarnation of someone who many many reincarnations before was very evil and maybe mm. was killed in a thunderstorm or a tornado mm. yeah. and now she she's carrying on that tradition it's hard to know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right here's the last song I have on tap unless somebody wants to hear something I can pull out of my hat real quick <laughs> uh, How long have we been on one minute, 46... No. I'm sorry, one hour, 46 minutes. Don't you love the way we I We pack a lot into a minute and 46 seconds, don't we? Uh, you have to slow it. You'd have to record it and slow it down to hear us, buddy. To, yeah. One hour, 46 minutes, and 46 seconds now. Okay. So. Well, we might have time for a boy named Sue. Oh, yep. I think we will. All right. This song is another one from Freaking at the Freakers Ball. And I did a lot of these because I listened to that album a gajillion times when I was young and exploring my uh, personality. Okay. This song, I'm not even going to give you the title because it'll... it'll Now, this here song is a warning. Yes, folks, a warning against a danger that imperils our very economy, social fiber, moral turpitude, national security. And friends, the danger is not, it is not the long hairs, and it is not the warmongers, or the squares, or the drug users, or the fuzz. Friends, the danger, the real danger, is thumb suckers. Yes, friends, you heard me right. I said thumb suckers. And every time, every time you make a peace sign with your fingers, and every time you push a doorbell, and every time you're on a highway and stick out your thumb, there's always lurking in the shadows some dirty, sneaky thumb sucker who will leap out upon you, grab your wrist, and start to suck your thumb, draining all your natural thumb juices, and leaving you a hopeless, hapless, shaking, quivering, crawling, hapless thumb sucking addict for the rest of your unnatural life that's why i ain't gonna let no thumb sucker suck my thumb suck my thumb it'll drive you crazy leave you deaf and dumb deaf and dumb it'll make you crawl climb the wall and leave you without no thumb at all i ain't gonna let no thumb sucker suck my thumb Met her on a corner in Duluth. That's the truth. She was trying to fix her shoe in a telephone booth. Her name was Ruth. She said she was just waiting for a bus. 
But I hit my thumb Cause I knew just what she was That's why I ain't gonna let no thumb sucker suck my thumb Suck my thumb It'll drive you crazy Leave you deaf and dumb Deaf and dumb It'll make you crawl Climb the wall Leave you without no thumb at all And I ain't gonna let no thumb sucker suck my thumb I tell you what them thumb suckers like to do. Do, do, do. They suck your thumb till it's wrinkled like a prune. Prune, prune, prune. They say you got the sweetest thumb of all. That's what they say. But then they suck the thumb of the guy lives down the hall. That's why I ain't gonna let no thumb sucker suck my thumb. Suck my thumb. It'll drive you crazy, leave you deaf and dumb, deaf and dumb. Make you crawl, climb the wall, leave you without no thumb at all. I ain't gonna let no thumb sucker suck my thumb, 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 suck my thumb. Suck my thumb, suck my thumb, suck my thumb. Ah, damn. Hey, hey, baby, didn't you hear what I was just saying? I was just talking. Let go of that thumb. Easy, easy. I just had a manicure. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. Hey, Kathy Brittell. Hello, she Kathy. Said, she said you are just a class act. Well, thank you so Very much. enjoyable and impressive with exclamation <laughs> points there. Thank you. Thank you so much. I agree. Uh, <laughs> Kathy is one of the queens of auto harp playing. Yes. If she can't play it, uh, it isn't worth hearing. Uh, she's great. Thanks for dropping in, Kathy. Yes. Well, I guess. We have, it is at one hour, 52 minutes and 20, I mean, 30 seconds. Okay. So, I think you got room for that one. Well, my daddy left home when I was three. He didn't leave much. To Ma and me, just this old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Now, I don't blame him because he run and hid, but the meanest thing that he ever did was before he left, he went and named me Sue. Well, he must have thought that it was quite a joke, and he got a lot of laughs from a lot's folks, and it seemed I had to fight my whole life through. Some guy would giggle and I'd get red and some guy some gal would giggle and I'd get red and some guy'd laugh and I'd bust his head. I tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. Well, I grew up quick and I grew up mean. My fists got hard, my wits got keen. I roamed from town to town to hide my shame. Well, I made me a vow to the moon and stars that I'd search the honky-tonks and bars and kill that man that gave me that awful name. Well, it was Gatlinburg in mid-July and I just hit town and my throat was dry and I thought I'd stop and have myself a brew. In an old saloon on a street of mud, there at a table, dealing stud, sat the dirty mangy dog that named me Sue. Well, I knew that snake was my own sweet dad from a worn-out picture that my mother'd had, and I knew that scar on his cheek and his evil eye. 
He was big and bent and gray and old, and I looked at him, and my blood ran cold, and I said, My name is Sue. How do you do? Now you're going to die. Yeah, that's what I told him. <laughs> well, I hit him hard right between the eyes, and he went down, but to my surprise, he come up with a knife and cut off a piece of my ear. So I busted a chair right across his teeth, and we crashed through the wall and into the street, kicking and gouging in the mud and the blood and the beer. I, well, I tell you, I fought tougher men, but I really can't remember when. He kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile. Well, I heard him laugh and I heard him cuss and he went for his gun to pull mine first. And he stood there looking at me and I saw him smile. He said, son, this world is rough and if a man's going to make it, he's got to be tough. And I knew I wouldn't be there to help you along. So I give you that name and said goodbye and I knew you'd have to get tough or die. And it's that name that helped to make you strong. He said, now you just fought one hell of a fight, and I know you hate me, and you got the right to kill me now, and I wouldn't blame you if you do. But you ought to thank me before I die for the gravel in your guts and the spit in your eye, because I'm the son of a bitch that named you Sue. What could I do? I got all choked up, and I threw down my gun, called him a paw, and he called me his son, and I come away with a different point of view and I think about him now and then every time I try and every time I win and if I ever have a son I think I'm gonna name him Bill or George anything but Sue <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, Ziggy said Shell S is one of my favorite songwriters and poets so many thanks uh, for this show. Oh, you're, you're... Even a couple of songs new to me. <laughs> well... Heart, Smile, Face, and Heart. You that's know? hard to do. Find yeah, a song find new songs to Ziggy. Ziggy doesn't. Uh, Ziggy's heard everything. <laughs> uh, no, I, I really have been looking forward to doing this. And I had it scheduled for the 26th of July, but the gear gave out. And yeah. I'm glad we were finally able to, uh, to put it together. I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, um, Ziggy did say see you in about three hours, yeah. I hope. Yep, me and, too. Uh, also, thanks to Lynn for the listener communication. I appreciate that. <laughs> I enjoy doing this. Yeah, well, I couldn't do the show without her. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, I could Likewise, play music, but there wouldn't, sure. be, there wouldn't be any interaction at all. And that's, yeah. you guys make the show. You do. I, you, I mean, really any fool do. can sit here and play music. But uh, to have such a, a loyal group of followers and, and it folks, so and, and we really, really this. appreciate it. Yeah, um, it's a lot of fun. And if, you, uh, if you've got a buck or two to spare to put in our tip jar, we'd really appreciate that. Um, if you go to um, uh, autoharpdownhome.com and click the donate link, it will take you to our PayPal account. And uh, we... Uh, you know, would uh, would really appreciate it if you could uh, put a, f a few bucks in our in our tip jar. <coughs> we are trying to raise uh, to get enough money together to go to the California Auto Harp Gathering in um, Fresno next May. next May. I've been invited to perform if I can if I can get there. Yes, uh, had a great time there before. And if you're in that area, uh, CAG is a great a great auto harp gathering it's it's very informal um the staff and the attendees and everybody mixed together they run a children's camp at the same time teaching music to to young kids um uh mike mueller and his staff do a wonderful job out there the food is great uh the weather is wonderful beautiful scenery coming up the mountain uh from the uh, fresno airport Make your plans now to uh, join us out there. And uh, I want to leave you with... Wait, just one thing. Pat Burns said, hi, George and your wife. Hello, and John, Pat. And John Wendling. Thank you, George and Lynn. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> John, I'm glad you came. and Good to see you, Pat. In real quick 
Yeah, missed you lately. Yes, and, good uh, to have you. Really do appreciate it. Um, whoever, I want to leave you with this thought. Whoever said it's not whether you win or lose that counts, probably lost. I guess it probably did, yeah. <laughs> Well, now it's time to say goodbye to George and all his kin. We'd sure like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back real soon to this locality to have a heap and helping of our hospitality. Down home style, that is. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? So long, everybody.